Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, your English instructor, Muhammad Asnan, once again with all of you people. Today, we are going to be doing one of the most informative, one of the most entertaining topics that I personally enjoyed when I listened about it. Uh, when I was a, a student, so I used to enjoy uh, listening to my teachers talking about this topic. It is very cool. It is very enjoyable. You people, I hope you people will enjoy it. And I hope you people are learning because this is my ambition. This is my goal to make you people understand English fluently. So today's topic is modal verbs. So first of all, what are modal verbs? Modal verbs are verbs that modifies the uh, the different kind of words. For example, if you watch modal verbs are have, has, had, uh, multiple other ones like might, uh, should, must, can, cannot multiple of them some of them are the positive some of them are the negative or some of them are the yes and some of them are the no like can is the yes and cannot is the no so there are multiple cases scenarios theories etc that we people will understand so first of all let's understand what types of uh, modal verbs are there what do they do what is their job and how are their uses, uh, usages and what about the all the modal verbs what are all the modal verbs i'm going to be ex explaining them brief short i'm not going to explain it very much because we have a detailed version of all of these you people will watch that soon and this is my uh, first playlist you guys can watch it uh, of modal verbs now what are modal verbs the features of modal verbs modal verbs are explained or used to modify the different words or the different people or the different sentences like uh, you can, you must, etc. These are the things that you use. But now there are different case scenarios. There are different things that you have to know. For example, there are big things like uh, cases, exceptional cases. For example, with can, if you are using not with it, so you will actually write it together like this. Can, not. You will use it like this. You will not add space. You will not give space. But with other like might not, must not, you will leave space. This is now a case. This is an exceptional case. This is a different than other type of case. Okay, so if you watch, for example, with have, there is a new case there. Now, for example, if we are saying he did not have or he didn't have, with other model verbs, we cannot use he did not have or he didn't have. It is not allowed. You will only use it with have, not with any other model verb. For example, he cannot must. No. Uh, uh, for example, um, he didn't must, didn't might, it doesn't work. It has no rules. So you cannot use it. These are what we call exceptional cases. These are different cases that come out to be in front of us. Now, these are the features of it. You people understood features, I hope. Now, what are the uses? Why it is used and for what reasons it is used? For, for taking permission. Ma'am, may I come in? Ma'am, may I go to drink water? Sir, may I go to take my card, etc. You can use it. May, might, can. Sir, can I go to drink some water? Like there are multiple. But may is like not that much polite. Sir, might I go to drink water? Now this is a polite one. But might is actually more polite. Permissions. But uh, for permissions, for example, ma'am, may I go to drink water? Uh, sir, can I go to drink some water? Sir, can I get my ID card? Sir, can I go to multiple places? Like you can do a lot of permissions. Like you use it for taking permissions, obligations. You must go to school. You must drink water. You must make your classes more enjoyable. You must be a bit slow. Some people told me that you must be a bit slow. So these are obligations that you people told me that you must be slow. Prohibition. You must not touch. Uh, you must not touch, for example, acid, etc. You must not touch the museum's items. You must not touch the bones of the dinosaur in the museum. For example, uh, possibilities. He might be in a traffic jam. If like, for example, if your friend Ali is not coming to the party. So, for example, your friend asks from you that why is not Ali, uh, why is Ali not here? So, you tell him he might be stuck in a traffic jam. He could be stuck in a traffic jam, etc. You can use multiple model verbs here. Abilities. I can speak English. I can swim, I can run fast, I can talk, I can make stuff, 
for example like making uh, digital like for creations etc so these are the things like you can show your abilities your things that you can do i can do this i can do that i am able to you can use that but able to is not actually a model verb these are different things now offers would you like to have a cup of tea with me would you like to help me would you like to take some coffee would you like to stay with me would you be with my son now requests for example please give me a cup of water now how will we say it with the model verb please would you like to give me a cup of water please can you take my bag please can you help me out in this era you can actually take out the you uh, please can you help me out i need your help you can use please it will make it more formal it will make it more like as if you are in more need of help but other than that there is no need for please please is not important like please is not permanent you can not use it you can use it you can do multiple things with please now next now what are the total amount of modal verbs there are some that people don't even know about and i'm specifically talking about out to lots of people don't know about out to 